Ah, what's up guys? Uh, today I've been replaying the Forza Horizon uh, 3 demo which came out, you know, not long ago now. Um, really just, um, I didn't really play it for long uh, the first time. I downloaded it and by the time it was finished I had to go to work. Um, so decided to kind of play through the demo a little bit today and upload some you know, footage from it. Um, and share my, my kind of thoughts on the, what I think it's going to be like. A demo is never really a true accurate representation of um, you know what the game's actually going to be like. Things change, um, but with Forza Horizon demos, in my experience, I think everything has pretty much remained the same. The demos have always been good, and the games have always been good, so there's not really any issue um, with that kind of you know aspect so uh, let's jump okay so the game is a uh, it's made by a studio called playground uh, they started in 2010 hey, I think um, I'm not really sure if they've made anything other than Forza Horizon but I know that the developers that work for playground uh, come from you know backgrounds from studios like uh, the ones that made PGR uh, need for speed uh, the classic driver um, burnout, things like that. Um, I think Forza Horizon itself has sort of surpassed Forza Motorsport games. Um, the popularity of them is bigger, I think, because they're easier to play, um, they're a little bit more fun, um, it's not based on simulation, it's more arcade, people can jump into it a lot easier. And you don't have to be really good at racing games to enjoy it, I don't think. It's a bit of fun, it's not too serious. Um, the thing that's going to be different uh, about Forza Horizon 3, I think, is um, obviously they say that you're, you're not just taking part in it like you were in the earlier games. You're kind of running the show. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is going to mean, but ultimately I don't think that much will change because at the end of the day it's a racing game, you're going to be racing, um, there might be a little bit more choice involved, I know there's a hell of a lot of cars involved, I think the number's about 350 vehicles, uh, which is brilliant, you know, more the better. Um, with regards to how the old games were, there was always these sort of like wacky race types where you would uh, race against um, like planes and stuff like that. So there's there's a couple of helicopters flying in the distance there just now uh, over the beach. Um, so you can bet that they're going to be involved in some way. I don't think they would just uh, get rid of that. Um, it adds a bit of fun to it. And it's quite unrealistic, but that's not what the game's about, I suppose. It's just about the driving and enjoying it and having fun. Um, they say that the um, Forza Horizon 3 is going to be like twice the size of Forza Horizon 2 and if I remember rightly Horizon 2 was actually quite decent in size so it will be interesting to see how that goes. Um, here's one of those you know, races uh, just now that we're talking about. Um, so yeah you know there's going to be the, uh, races with these crazy easy, vehicles. But yeah, Horizon 3 is meant to be twice the size of Horizon 2. Um, apparently there's four player co-op. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but I know that there is cross-play between the Xbox One and the PC. So if you've got friends that don't have an Xbox One, but they are getting the game on the PC, you will be able to play co-op with them, which is always a welcome feature. Um, I don't do... PC gaming myself really. I only have a laptop that um, it doesn't. It's got like a equivalent of a radio on R7 or something like that in it, so it probably wouldn't do very well graphics wise. Um, it's also going to be like the first HDR game ever, um, and I, I think that is ever like not just on the Xbox One. I think it's actually the first game to come out that supports the HDR feature. Could be wrong on that, if I am, let me know in the comments. Um, 
Not that I have an Xbox One S or a 4K TV that supports HDR to actually use any of that, but I will still be getting the game regardless. Um, one of the things that, always, that I've always kind of appreciated about um, Forza is that it's such a tough genre to make games in because at the end of the day you, you're just racing. There's, there's only so much you can change. And if you're driving cars, you keep it between the lines on the road. Um, you must, you, you just have to be pretty clever to keep making that interesting. I think. Um, otherwise, every game would be exactly the same. And I think that's why Horizon has succeeded so well because it's not going too far, but it's also, it's also still sticking to. You know, normal racing. It's not like we're playing F Zero or anything like that. It's just like totally okay, normal. Um, I say that as this helicopter drops a jeep onto the road. Um, yeah, totally normal. Um, I think also, what what kind of sets uh, this apart is um, probably the kind of. I want to say emotion, but I'm not really sure that's the right word. It's kind of like the level of fun and enjoyment that you get out of this game is is just it's different to other racing games that are like Forza Motorsport and uh, PGR and things like that. <clears throat> those you get enjoyment out of those games being very good at the game, uh, getting fast lap times and progressing through a career. This you're just you're just racing to have fun. Um, you don't have to be really good at the game, I don't think, or, or good at racing in general to, to have fun. You just have to like racing games, um, not take it too seriously, basically. Um, and by making that kind of fun, emotional connection, um, I think is what has made Forza Horizon such a, a fan favourite. Um, and I think it's only going to get better and I'm curious to see whether there's anything else that will come under the Forza brand name because you've got Forza Motorsport you've got Forza Horizon maybe there is something else that can be done, I've no idea what it could be but if you can branch out and do Horizon, the arcade style maybe there is something else that can come um, that would be different um, the, the size of the map as I mentioned before is about twice the size of Horizon 2 and you can see there on the video that it is absolutely massive. Um, that's all I really have to say on, on the matter. Can't wait for the game to come out and uh, I'll speak to you all soon.